Hey, this is Steve Cubby, and uh, as you can see, uh, we're gearing up for ski season here in Lake Tahoe. Uh, in just a couple of days, uh, I'll be out making turns. And uh, I, I wanted to just take a minute to thank all of the people who make comments. I read every comment, and uh, I benefit uh, from those comments. I appreciate the information that people pass on. Now, uh, you may be wondering about this scene here. This is where I live. I actually live right about there. And uh, I live in South Lake Tahoe. It's an absolutely fantastic place. People here are amazing. Uh, there's world-class athletes. There's artists. There's entrepreneurs. There's uh, some of the best weed growers I've ever seen. And uh, it's just a beautiful place. But... Uh, the people, uh, the business people, the uh, the, the skiing, uh, you know, uh, uh, Heavenly Valley, uh, that's one of the biggest ski resorts in the world. And uh, the tree skiing, uh, that is world-class tree skiing that we have there. We have, we've got one run that we like where uh, you ski uh, through the gate uh, out of uh, Heavenly Valley, and you, there's a 3,500-foot off-piste, uh, out of bounds area that's open legally once you you know go through the gate and that takes you all the way down to the gondola or the gondubi as we call it up here and you can take it up and uh, head back over to uh, uh, Olympic and uh, once again uh, do another 3500 feet of off-piste beautiful tree skiing. Uh, there's also uh, Wellstone Canyon where uh, there's a 5,000 vertical foot descent, uh, only available certain times of the year when there's coverage all the way down to the Carson Valley, but 5,000 vert of powder off of uh, skiers served lifts. That's pretty amazing. And then we've got Kirkwood, and Kirkwood is like nothing you've ever seen. I mean, it's got the deepest powder, uh, the parking lot's higher than uh, the, the top of KT-22 at Squaw. Well, it's about the same elevation. But uh, Kirkwood's the highest, the driest, and the deepest powder that uh, you can find anywhere in, in the States. Now, uh, another thing that uh, I really like about Tahoe is the, the, the weed that's growing up here is really exceptional. I think it's because of the cold air that's available and the fact that it's all grown indoors. And there's a lot of old hippies that have retired in uh, Tahoe, particularly in uh, South Lake Tahoe. It's a fabulous area and uh, I, I urge you to, uh, to come and visit South Lake Tahoe, especially once we get my initiative passed and uh, we can serve people from any state, any country, as long as they have a recommendation letter from their physician. Now, uh, some other news, uh, Dennis Perone, the co-author of uh, Prop 215, is getting married to his long-time uh, companion, John Antwistle, who also played a major part in uh, Prop 215, and was the guy who wrote, John Entwistle was the guy who wrote the uh, creator of uh, Doonesbury, Gary Trudeau, and uh, suggested that Doonesbury uh, covers something about the uh, raid and the harassment that uh, we were getting at 1444 Market Street, which was our headquarters, our campaign headquarters for Prop 215. So uh, Trudeau did uh, a number of stories about uh, uh, the cannabis, uh, the, the San Francisco Cannabis Buyers Club, about uh, Attorney General Dan Lundgren. As a matter of fact, Dan Lundgren got so angry that he tried to stop newspapers from printing Doonesbury, which, of course, just blew up in his face. So uh, a lot of good things because of John Entwistle, important uh, contributor to Prop 215. I'm going to be at the uh, Emerald Cup on uh, Saturday, December 15th, when Dennis and John will be tying the knot. I'm going to film the ceremony, and uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people there, a lot of people who care about uh, 
Dennis Perone and John and are thrilled that uh, these two gentlemen are going to be uh, making a commitment to each other. So uh, that about wraps it up for uh, news. This has been Steve Cubby. You can catch our show on CubbyTV.com, PotTV.com, and CannabisCulture.com. Until next time, this has been Steve Cubby wishing you a great 420 day.